Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Creativity Castle. It's time again to be creative. Today, we are going to draw a springtime drawing. Woohoo! I love springtime. The spring is also one of my favorite times of the year, Penny. Woohoo! We will be using a black marker to draw our illustration. And when we're finished, if you'd like, you can go to our website at sourpussandfriends.com and download this drawing and color it in. Woohoo! Let's be creative! In today's follow along, we are going to draw a cute little girl who is watering her flowers. That's a neat idea! We will start by drawing the little girl's face. And we will start by drawing two small eyes and a nose. Woohoo! Next, we'll draw a nice big smile like this. This little girl will be a very cute little girl. Next, we will draw the side of her face and her nice round cheek. And then we will begin to give our little girl some cute curly hair. Nice and wavy locks of hair. And we will give her hair on both sides. On the right side, we don't have to complete the rest of the face because her hair begins to cover that part of her face. Woohoo! And I'll add a few more hairs. Let's give this little girl a hat to wear. We'll draw two oval shapes. One will be for the inner rim of her hat, and the other will be the outer rim of the hat. Woohoo! And this hat will be rounded like this. And let's add a nice little flower on the hat. Let's draw a little daisy. A cute little springtime hat. Next, we'll add a ribbon to the girl's hat, like this. And we'll give the ribbon a few little lines like this. Next, we will draw her little neck and then begin to draw her body. Let's start with the arm that will be holding the watering can. And then we will draw part of the girl's dress. And let's add her little hand holding the handle of the watering can. And this will be an old fashioned watering can. And next we will draw her other hand on the watering can. And this is an old time metal watering can. And this will be the top of the watering can. And then we'll draw a line 
down the middle and we'll add little dots. These little dots are the rivets that hold the metal together. And next we'll draw the watering can spout. And at the end of the spout, we will draw where the water comes out. And there's little holes at the end of the spout. And this is how the water comes out. And let's add some little lines to indicate the water coming out of the watering can. And next we'll begin to add some of the flowers that the little girl is watering. We draw these flowers so that we'll know how much of the rest of the little girl we'll have to draw because she is behind the flowers. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Nice cute little flowers. With all the little petals and the leaves. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. On your drawing, you can draw as many flowers as you'd like. And you could also draw different kinds of flowers. I've chosen to draw cute little daisy flowers all around this little girl. She's in her little flower garden. It looks like she's taking very good care of her garden because of all the flowers that are beginning to grow. Do -do -do, do -do -do. And let's draw one that really took off growing with a much longer stem and some leaves. What pretty flowers! And you can have fun with your drawing by adding all sorts of flowers. Oh, I just love the springtime. And I can't wait to go outside and play. The spring is one of my favorite times of the year. Oh, I have an idea. Let's add a few little bugs around. How about a little butterfly? Why don't we make another one over here, too? Woohoo! Now we can see where we need to end her dress and add some cute little trim. Perhaps she's kneeling in the garden behind the flowers. After drawing the little girl and the flowers, let's add a cute little border. We did this another time. Do you remember? Woohoo! If you don't, go back to the playlist and you'll see a similar cute little girl holding on to her little teddy bear. Woo -hoo -hoo. And we make the lines look a little natural and wavy. I always like my drawings to have a hand-drawn quality. Woo -hoo. And after adding the inner border, we'll add another line to make the border have a little thickness. Do, 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 do. Ooh, and let's add a little bumblebee. It looks like the bumblebee flew out of the frame. And lastly, we will add little details inside the border. Doo -doo -doo. 
Do -do 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 -do. And I like how some of this illustration is inside the border and other parts are extending into and beyond the border. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Do you love the springtime? Hoo -hoo. Where I live here in the Creativity Castle, it's almost springtime, and I can't wait till it's once again warm again outside. I'll just add a few more locks of hair. What a cute little girl watering her springtime flowers. Now, if you'd like, you can color in this drawing. Take a look at how I've colored in the drawing. I've used light springtime colors once again to color in our drawing. If you'd like to color in this drawing, go to sourpussandfriends.com. There, you can go to the printables section for a free download. Oh boy, oh boy, what fun! Thank you for joining this follow along. See you next time, and remember to be creative! <laughs> <laughs>